Okay, <clears throat> so uh, we're going to add some more here going on with our uh, project. Um, I have selected here. We're going to move these further and, and do some more with them. Let's see. Shoulders. You know, I want to look at. Um, yeah, so let's look at what we can do. We've, we've been using the, that was the move brush, move topological. If I do M, I can focus on that. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's look at that. And let's see, I have the chest here. And let's look at shoulders. It's going right down the line here okay, I'm making some indentations in the bottom of the shoulders I go to my upper arms I want to remember that I got you know my my tricep coming up the back here pulls out All right we're going for basic shapes here so tricep comes out and goes out like this I have a kind of a is that the brachialis that was in there? I'm probably going to be saying that wrong. Probably have that wrong, but that's okay. Um, I know that there's like an indentation kind of here between the tricep and the bicep on each side. Okay. See how I'm pulling this out so that the bottom of the bicep here is in this, this shape. So it's coming out, and then the rest here is straight. That's fine. Comes here too into the uh, crook of the elbow. All right. Move down to forearms. Forearms, I'm going to make uh, a bit of an elbow here. And then the rest here, I'm going to start to make, coming in mostly straight. Have the underarm in here. Here's the wrist. Okay, here we have the okay. So this part comes in, this part comes in here. top portion kind of goes from almost to the elbow back. Remember that's uh, that part. Okay. Here we go. And then we get into the hands. It's a flat, a little bit of a palm front we will get into the fingers uh in the in the next lesson this one we're just going for really refining our shapes as we're adding them through the limbs so i'm looking at um let's see here i've got my upper legs and i want to start looking at you know again just like we did with the elbow our, our joints here we've got a um kneecap And 
Okay, let's turn this one. I'm going to pull out this quadricep right in there. Okay, and let's look at lower legs. in this up and looking at the, the shape the lower legs. And feet. See, look at my ankle area. Feet. Okay, so all I'm doing is just moving this still further from our basic shapes into a more refined shape. Next week, we will get into a bit more of that in our sculpting. I've just been using the move topological. Oh, wait, let me look at face. The face is still kind of goofy. And that's okay. I'm just getting it into the basic skull shape that I'm looking for. Okay. Next week, we will start sculpting using the standard brush. <clears throat> and we're going to start sculpting. <clears throat> like cutting in, pulling out, stuff like that. Right now, we've just moved things around. But we've gotten into a very, you know, like this is, this is really a, a good progress. <clears throat> for what we're wanting to do. Um, the move brush is always your friend. Even when you're sculpting here, certain things are not going to come out right as you expect. Uh, we'll show that more next week. And so move is something, the move brush is something I always come back to. Even after doing further sculpting and stuff, it will help refine, put things in their proper place, and it will really help to... Uh, it's something you can really see like from the side here. Like here, we can see, if I select my arms, we can really see the difference. I can see it pulling from the side. I don't see it when it's in the front so much. It goes side to side. It doesn't come at me. Our other brushes kind of come at us, and so it's more a thing where we don't always see. And, and as I've moved through here, I was looking through, looking through my silhouette right the silhouette the outline because i'm moving everything from the side uh, and that and i'm rotating around as i do that to really get a good look at what is the shape the silhouette the shape that i see around the contour of the body right that's what i was looking for okay so now that i've worked on that I'm wanting to save it. I think I went over this in the last lesson. I'm going to show you again. The proper saving procedure, and the best saving procedure as far as I'm concerned, is to go up here through Z plugin. Here where it says Subtool Master, and I will click Save Z Tool. It'll ask me where I want to save it. 
I will save this still here over my basic body two. We're still in week two. <clears throat> do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. And when I go to close my window, so there we have it. Uh, when I go to close my window, it's going to ask me, do I want to save changes to my Z pro ZBrush project? No, I don't. I've saved it as a ZTL file, and that's good enough. I'll click no. And the reason is, let me show you. Back up again. go over opening this is kind of to show you why I do it this way load tool here it is I'll click open and I will click and drag it and when I click and and then I'll click a uh, light box to turn that off and then I'll click edit T that'll allow me to edit it right I'll go on here to brush and M to move Topological, I can now pull on it, I can edit it. Let's say uh, I accidentally go to save it, and for some reason there's S and then there's T. We saw the shortcut for edit is T. Right now it'll ask me to switch, but sometimes it'll do this, and I'll do that when you click, usually you click do not switch. I clicked switch, and now we can see something going on here. I don't see my, my sub tool, but if I go to try to edit it again, this time it worked. But sometimes if I click edit and I put it switch, all of a sudden I click and drag, I click and drag, I click and drag, and I got a lot of these. And this will happen sometimes if you first open it up. And you just start clicking and dragging to add it, you'll fill this thing up. And then if I try to go to edit, we don't, we don't, which one? Okay, so I guess there's that one. But the rest of these are just there and they're in the way. This one rotates. Okay, so that one works. All the rest of them are in your way. They're locked to the background. And so if you click T and then you, you save the project. And even I've seen this happen where people weren't aware of clicking T. And they save their project uh, by closing this, and then I ask to save your project, and you click yes to save, and they'll have stuff locked to the background like this. And trying to get it unlocked uh, sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So ZBrush is this has been a problem. It used to do this all the time. ZBrush has gotten a lot better about it. They think that the problem is no longer there, but I've still seen it happen. So, um, you know, if you're ever in a moment where you've added so many like this and you're wanting to then get rid of all this and open it up fresh, all you have to do is just simply go to document, new document. It says document has been changed. Would I like to save it? No, I don't. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag. And there it is, and I simply go to edit right after. That will allow me to edit it. All right, that's about everything. Thank you all very much. Let me know if you have any issues.